I've talked about gemstones in ancient history, gemstones and cartoons, gemstones and comic books, and now it's time for a companion piece. The perfect accessory, if you will, to our Super Bowl rings episode. We're taking it indoors and talking about the NBA. The NBA championship rings have been handed out every year since the very first NBA finals in 1947, and they have changed a lot since then. Here's a brief look at the rings throughout the decades. The Philadelphia Warriors brought home the very first ring, the first two rings, actually. Unlike the diamond-studded fight enders of today, the oldest NBA rings are relatively simple, made of gold with a basketball shape on top and a small diamond right in the middle. It almost looks like a Pokeball. By the time we get to the Celtics ring in 1957, the design has gotten a little more elaborate, with a larger diamond and more detailing on the sides. The Celtics proceeded to bring home every championship ring from 1959 to 1966, an astonishing eight-year streak. The man with the most NBA rings to his name is Bill Russell, who played center for the Celtics during this era. The bummer is, the rings look basically the same across all those years. It really limited Russell's accessorizing. In 1967, the Philadelphia 76ers finally took home the ring after defeating the San Francisco Warriors, and that was the beginning of a new era in NBA rings, color. This is the design Wilt Chamberlain had for his first ring. The red detailing made for a dynamic look, and in 1968, the Celtics won again and the rings went back to the old team design. But when they won again in 1969, a lovely emerald green was added, finally adding a touch of style. The championship title bounced around a little more in the 70s. The Knicks, Bucks, Warriors, Lakers, and Celtics again took home wins throughout the decade. The ring looked basically the same until 1984, when the Boston Celtics again took it home, with a lucky clover added to the face of the ring. Is this a video on NBA rings or Boston? Jeez. After that, the floodgates opened, and each design would be different, adding more and more diamonds along the way. The Lakers would add a ball and hoop, the Celtics will do the same, but throw the team clover behind it. The Detroit Pistons 89 design is one of my favorites. And when the Chicago Bulls won in 91, their team logo took over the ring. The Bulls logo dominated the early 90s, even on jewelry. The Bulls in the 90s go together like Dunkaroos and Capri Sun. The 93 Bulls ring is pretty special looking, and the 97 design is also really fun. By the time we hit the early 2000s, the Lakers are dominating, and the era of bling is upon us. I'm calling this Lakers 2002 NBA ring the Illuminati design. I love it. And since then, every championship ring is more and more unique to the team. They also focus on cramming in more and more diamonds and new gemstones along the way. When the Cleveland Cavaliers won in 2016, it wasn't just LeBron and company on the court who got rings. Stadium staff from security to beer slingers to janitors all were offered their own piece of history. The Warriors 2017 rings broke a record. It weighs 11 carats and has more diamonds than any championship ring in any major American sport, including baseball, hockey, and even football. How many NBA championship rings do you have on hand? Share your moment of glory with all of us down in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on jewelry and gemstones, check out the links below. Thank you for watching.